afternoon, and thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure to welcome back all of you who have been to our webinars in the past and to introduce our webinar series to you who are on your first Surefire Social webinar. Today's event is called SurePulse, Automate All Your Marketing, and our host today is my colleague Bob Sheehan, our SVP of Client Services, and he'll be joined by Sashi Belamkanda, our Chief Marketing Officer. My name is Jennifer Clark, and I'm a Senior Marketing Manager at Surefire Social, and I'll be behind the scenes throughout the webinar with the marketing team, and we'll be taking your questions and talking to you about your marketing goals. But before we jump into the topic, I wanted to take attendance, which means I want to see who's joined us today. So to do that, just pull up the chat box, the window on your side panel, and let us know what your favorite food is. And if you'd like, you can tell us if there are any specific things you wanted to learn about today. We'd love to hear from you. Just take a minute right now to do that, please. Seems like some of you have already sent in your messages. Thanks so much. Um, so the situation right now, while you're watching today, please keep in mind that your web presence is made up of all the places that customers go to look for you. So it's important to have a strong web presence, and that requires attention in all those areas. Right now, most small businesses are manually executing all their marketing activities. That probably sounds like a lot of you today. And they don't have a way to see how their marketing activities correlate. So in other words, they don't know where their leads are coming from. During the webinar today, Bob's going to take you through all the elements of your web presence that you need to focus on to keep growing your business. And then later, he'll be giving you a tour of SurePulse so you can get a first-hand view of how SurePulse can help you with your marketing. All right, everybody, I'd like to introduce my colleague now. Bob, the floor is yours. Thank you, Jen, and good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the webinar. Uh, as Jen was saying earlier, the, the title is uh, Show Pulse Automate All Your Marketing. And for those of you who don't know me, that's me. Uh, happy afternoon, everybody. Nice to meet you. Um, and, you know, the, when, when we think about Sure Pulse, and when we think about how we put this together and why we put it together, um, really there's an overall approach to this it's, that's about, you know, don't worry about wasting money on digital marketing again. The whole, the whole idea behind this was to give, you, give us the visibility to, to run a lot of things at once and to, to do them at scale and to uh, keep an eye on, on really everything that needed to be, to be managed. Um, it, it, the, the end result of that is driving down lead cost, getting more conversions. In, in this world, conversions would be form submissions, phone calls, customers coming to you, and then providing uh, customers, clients uh, with uh, measurable metrics so that we could, we could measure everything that we do and understand how it's impacting the business. So that, that's what SurePulse is all about, and, and the point of this webinar is to take you through that to show you how it does that, like how, how that we make it, make it actually do those things. Hey, uh, Bob. So, yeah. Uh, I, have you heard the joke uh, uh, that most marketers know 50% of their marketing is working, but they don't know which 50%? I have heard that one, yes. And uh, I... I I think that's a thing of the past, though, because now we can actually know most of it, right? Now, that's the, the idea behind Shore Pulse is so that we want to know most of it. We want to be able to, there's always going to be some things that we don't, we don't see or that we can't track, but for, you know, for the most part, this gives you the, the capability of seeing all the things that you're doing online and, and managing those. So in, the, in this case, we've got a couple of screenshots here about local directories. We're able to look at how you know up to 70 directories are looking on your uh, digital footprint, whether they're not, whether they're uh, doing you any good, right? We we can look at how people search for you, how to what words are they using when they when they try to find you? What are they saying on Facebook? What are they saying on Instagram? On Yelp? All of those places. All of that is accessible through the reputation tab uh, right inside Show Pulse. Um, so today's agenda. We're going to talk about how we get more insights out of Shore Pulse, meaning data, right? How we understand how things are going. We're going to talk about how we engage customers, how we actually take action through the portal, through the, the platform, in order to, to engage directly with customers. Uh, we've built, or we're in the process of finishing a marketplace 
which allows uh, customers to add things to digital marketing. There's, there's always a new thing coming down the road. There are you know additional elements that you want to add, things that uh, you know help you do this a little bit better. Uh, so we've built that into the platform as well. And then at the end, we'll do a live demo. Uh, I'll show you on a on an actual um, you know live instance of SurePulse exactly how we use that uh, to to manage uh, clients you know digital footprints. We we have about a dozen coaches here, and and those folks are actively every day kind of managing all of these clients. And we use the dashboard ourselves. We we drink our own Kool Aid, and and so in the process of teaching you how to do it, basically. The only thing we do is we'll show you what we do on on your accounts and how how we how we run that. So you know when it comes to getting insights, right? The the biggest thing that that everybody cares about is ROI. Um, so what we've done is we've we've incorporated all of the things that help us to measure that. There's there's Google Analytics in here where we can measure traffic, we can measure you know the different kinds of traffic, how that compares to other different date ranges. We can look at last year. We can look at last month. Uh, we can track phone calls from within the dashboard. We can look at form fills. Um, and you know, to me, one of the most important things is this whole idea of understanding what words and phrases people use to find you, so that we can make adjustments to the copy on a site. We can make adjustments to how we say things in order for those for those sites to rank better for the words that really matter the most. So we, we hey, spend Bob. a lot. Yes, yes, Shashi, how are you doing? So you've been doing this for several years. Uh, yeah, just a ballpark figure of how many places you had to log in when you had to show these stats to clients before you had your pulse. You know, I, I used to use anywhere between ten to fifteen dashboards at a time. So I might I might be in analytics. I might be in a ranking um, dashboard or tool. I might be looking at keyword research in another place. Um, I might be looking at webmaster tools. It could it could be a lot. I used to have a lot of tabs open, and I had a lot of passwords. Right. One of the one of the biggest things that was difficult for me when I when I managed lots of clients was I had passwords all over the place. And now I've got a single sign on, and I can go in and look at all of that stuff um, all in one place. Much easier to to kind of look at a whole customer in a situation like this than it is to try to go in and out of a bunch of different things to get a snapshot. Um, probably the biggest thing when, when you're trying to do that, if you're trying to use multiple dashboards and multiple tools is date ranges. So I want to make sure that I'm looking at, at everything I look at over the same date range and the same comparison. Maybe it's last month, maybe it's last year. Um, and so the way we've built this is there's one date range across everything and when I change uh, that date range, I end up looking at everything on the new date range. That That's a lot easier and, and a lot more consistent. So I really can make comparisons to what's going on and and understand really what's what's happening here. Um, we, we, we monitor channels inside here. So we look at things like organic traffic, referral traffic, um, paid traffic versus not paid traffic, right? We want to be able to look at all of the different kinds of traffic that drive customers to the to the website, so that we'll be able to really move the needle when we want to. You know, for instance, if if I if I'm spending money on paid traffic and I see that the results of that um, are are diminishing, I have I have a choice, right? I can either decide that the paid the paid effort that I've got is not working, or I can throw more money at it, um, or I can um, kind of leave it the same. And it's always good to be able to compare that to the other sources of traffic so that I can understand how important those things are in relation to each other. Um, when I do that, I really get a kind of a, a 360 degree view of everything rather than trying to just look at one thing at a time and, and in isolation and try to figure out whether it's working or not. Um, this the other thing that I that I focus a lot on is the search queries piece. I, I want to know number one what words are being searched that bring people to my website. I also want to know that the number of words that bring people to the site is growing. So over a period of time, I you know we may start out with uh, 500 queries on a site in a typical month. You know 500 queries get get used to bring somebody to a site, and then after a few months, that number might be 2,000, and that's that's significant. That's growth. 
and and what that does is it grows the whole digital footprint of the website and I want to be able to track that kind of um, growth and make sure that that I'm expanding the reach of the of the site and making it uh, deeper and deeper into into search so that I can get more long tail queries to come uh, to the website um, we we are now able to within within this dashboard we're able to look at uh, queries over a much longer time frame than Google gives us for instance when you go into webmaster tools they'll give you 90 days they give you a 90 day look and then after that you don't have the data anymore um, in SurePulse we're able to store that data so that we um, we're able to uh, look at it even year over year that that you know we'll be storing that for many years so we'll be able to really go back and understand the growth of what we were doing and how the other things that you might be doing either offline or paid or other different kinds of online um, work might be impacting the total number of search queries and obviously there's there's uh, insights to be gained from that and decisions to be made uh, based on that uh, we want to know how people search for you right we've talked about this before but the word cloud really gives us an idea of which words are being searched and which words are more important than which other words right if I've got a particular group of words around a particular um, business right that are that are driving more traffic or more interest in a particular uh, site or maybe it's a seasonal thing um, then I want to be able to look at that I want to be able to understand that and make changes to what I'm doing maybe it, maybe it causes me to change an offer because of a seasonal uh, situation or maybe it causes me to make a particular piece of my website more prominent than another piece. Maybe it moves, you know, helps me to move something up on a navigation to make it stand out more or change the color of a button because I think that business is more important based on how the customers are actually finding me. So that, that's how we use that stuff. We look at, we look at what's happening with uh, how people are searching and we make adjustments to the site to accommodate for, you know, the site should, should pay off what people really want to see. Um, local directories are, as we all know, very important. Google ranks, the, this is one of the most important things out there. They look at all of the, the directories. There are uh, about 50 of them that are really critical to them, and, and we actually manage 70 of them through the dashboard so that we're able to, to look at the consistency across all the directories, which is the most important thing, and make sure that that, that matches um, the name, address, and phone number that's on the record, that's on the website, and that the whole thing uh, is is managed as one big piece, so that that will be a positive ranking factor for the website rather than something that causes confusion and causes us not to be ranked very well. Um, hey, so, well, yes, Shashi. Uh, what are some of the top directories that people should pay attention to, and uh, could you clarify if they are included? in a tool or not? Well, we, the, the tool includes all of the important ones um, with, a, with a couple of exceptions. Um, we, Bing Local is not included in the tool simply because it's something that needs to be managed on its own. So we do that. The coaches and account managers will do that separately. Um, same thing with Google My Business. Google My Business is an important one. Uh, Yahoo, uh, those are ones that, that in some cases you've got to pay for them, in some cases you've got to manage them individually. So we, we're, we're not aggregating them into the same local directory space, but we are definitely managing uh, what happens to those. Um, of, uh, we're we're in the, of the understanding that, that, that of the 50 best Google ones, we cover all of them in this way. And in, the, in about the last six months, this number has gone from 60 to 70 in terms of the total online directories, we keep adding to it uh, because other ones come along that are uh, deemed to be important and we want to make sure that those get handled correctly. So uh, another thing that comes up a lot with clients and we certainly think about it a lot as, as coaches when we're dealing with um, you know, managing people's accounts is competition. And we're able to go in here and, and add competitors and compare them. So we can compare things like rankings. I want to see, you know, whether um, 
the websites that I work on are ranking better than than their competitors, right? I want to see how that does over time. I want to try to grow the rankings and move keywords, important words. I want to try to kind of track those through through time so that I can move that needle forward. And in a minute, when we go into the demo, I'll be able to show you how that works. But we can we can definitely do that from within inside the dashboard. Um, and then obviously social is is really important, and we track visitors, we track um, likes and and shares, and so we, you know we we want to make sure that the content we're posting in social media is meaningful and that people you know like it. And one way to do that is to measure how often they share it, how often they like it, how often they look at it. Um, and all of that gives us in, insights into whether we should continue to do what we're doing or make adjustments to it. Um, so it, integration, right? We, we, we talk about the, the, the most important things with how you manage your website is recency, relevance, proximity, and prominence, right? You want to publish regularly. You want to make sure that the content that you're publishing matches the audience that you're trying to reach. Um, you want to build a website that that is local, right? We we build everything that's local. We we optimize everything for the local market, and we want to link to the website from prominent um, websites that that matter to the to those categories. So we're able to do all of that um, from within within SurePulse, the publishing piece and the the matching of the content to the to the audience. This helps us to understand um, how what we're doing works and and then as we see things that that are you know opportunities we're able to to change right we're able to adjust content to get different audiences or we're able to um, manage the local aspects of what we're doing right from within the tool so um, we're, we're trying to cover all of the important things here that that will help a website rank um, and we've built this this uh, platform in a way that um, different people within an organization will use it differently. So we've got marketing managers. A lot, a lot of our clients have a marketing director who we work with, and then there's an owner who we may not work with, or maybe sometimes the owner is somebody that we work with, but most of the time there's a you know a marketing manager there uh, that's day to day, and so people use it differently. We we have business owners who really want to look at kind of overview stuff. They want to look at the big picture, the traffic, the reputation, you know, just make sure things are moving in the right direction, but they're not living in it. They're, they're in many cases, they leave, either leave it to us or they have somebody else doing it. And and the people, the marketing manager types that, that are similar to how we use it, they're actually writing blog posts. They're looking into the word-by-word -word analysis of how things are working on the site, keyword rankings versus competitors. They're getting into the, the detail stuff. And so we've tried to, to build this thing in a way that you know, whoever you are, you, you're able to get value from it and, and use it in the, in the way that, you, that you'd like. Um, so one of the biggest things that we're doing now that, that's really changed my life and and of the pe same of the people who work for me is the ability to publish through the through the portal. So we're we're now able to publish blogs and social media right from within the content tab on SurePulse. We we can either write it in the tool and send it out that way, or we can write it somewhere else and post it post it there. Schedule it for the future. We can. Um, make things uh, as seasonal as we want. We can publish them into the future. Um, it's uh, it's become a very uh, important way that we interact with it here at, at, Shore, at Surefire. Um, blogs are one of the most important ways that we add content to a site, and this allows us to, to easily uh, replicate that kind of process, to do it regularly, and we want to make sure that we do it a lot. So. And I'll show you how that works in, in a few minutes when we get into the uh, demo. We are in the process, and it's it's actually almost ready to be launched. Uh, but there'll be a lot of uh, uh, additional elements that can be added to your market to your marketing mix right through SurePulse. You'll be able to do Google AdWords in here. 
You'll be able to add video, GeoJuice. Uh, you'll be able to request SEO audits, for instance. Uh, be able to look at phone tracking, advanced social media. There'll be lots of opportunities to kind of try other things um, right from within the tool, so you don't have to, you know, get into a, a whole sales process and you know try to figure out what you need. If you want to try something, you know, you'll be able to do it right on right in the dashboard. And we're constantly looking for opportunities to add new things to that that will add value, uh, so that we can continue to make this thing more and more useful as as we go forward. Um, and then so we can do a little demo here of what's going on on the on the dashboard here. All right. So does anybody have any questions? If anybody has has anything they'd like to get answered before um, we go into the demo, I can do that now. Okay. All right. So we'll go we'll go forward from here. And and if you, if you look right, it all it all starts with uh, a dashboard. Uh, Jen, yes. I'm so sorry to interrupt. <laughs> we so, did get a question. I was just pulling it up for you and for the audience. It's a pretty okay. good one. I thought we should address it now. Sure. Um, if a company has more than one location, does Sherpa separate results by location, and can you publish to each location? Uh, the answer is the answer is yes. Um, mm -hmm. We we run we can we have different location for for instance the directory listings and I'll sh I can actually show you how that works. But there's there are examples where you can add. A, we have clients that have up to seven or eight locations, and uh, the publishing. I, I the answer is yes. It may be done through different tabs on on SurePulse, but it it can be done. Against specific locations, yes. Great, really great answer. Um, we also have a poll today, so I think now is a great time to just set that up. We're gonna we're gonna launch a poll for our audience so that we have a chance to hear from you and offer you an opportunity. And we'd love to get your participation. So at the beginning of the webinar today, I mentioned that a strong web, web presence requires having a complete presence across all the sites that uh, that your customers use to find you. So to take that first step, we are offering a one-on-one -on -one analysis with a web consultant, and they're going to take a close look at your complete online presence. They're going to use SurePulse, and they're going to analyze its effectiveness in all the different areas that Bob's covering today. We, we call it a, a a business checkup, for example. It's like a, a diagnostic appointment that you'd have with a doctor or an annual checkup. All right, so where are we now? Percentage-wise participation. Please just take a minute to uh, vote in the poll. We can give you a local visibility checkup. We can give you a copy of the presentation or both. Just let us know. All right, and well. And Oh, go ahead, Jen. I'm sorry. Additionally, we love these questions that we have coming in, so keep sending them out, and Bob will address them at the end of today's presentation. All right, back to you, Bob. Okay, so you know it all starts with a with a dashboard that gives you gives you an overview, kind of a top line view. And we talked earlier about how you know traditionally owners are are looking at the top line. They they want to know. You know, how's my overall traffic doing? Am I getting leads? Right? What, what's uh, what's the major source of my traffic? So, so we we have a there's a date range selector over here. You can look at it over. Some people like to look at 30 days. Some people like to look at 90 days. We can set that up any way you like, and then and, and really you can set it up. You can change the date to six months, three months, 30 days, whatever you like, and then um, you can look at at the kind of the key metrics, right? Goal completions. How many form submissions and phone calls? How many visits, right? Um, are uh, how many visitors, right? What's my bounce rate? Are people staying on the site? Um, what words are people using to search for me, right? What what are what are what, what words matter to people? Aluminum windows. You can see in this case, this is a window manuf a window uh, dealer, and you can see that you know a lot of their customers are looking for. A solution to aluminum windows. Nobody makes aluminum windows anymore, but 
um, they've got them and they want to figure out what to do about them. So th this is an important uh, piece of learning here. I'm going to want to make sure I have an answer to that question on the website. Um, you've, you can see there's a lot of uh, kind of window words and there's a lot of geography words too. Right? We want to make sure that they're searching in the right marketplace. Um, overall, how's my reputation piece, right? What's going on with the listings? In this case, the score is 94%. There's a couple that we've opted out of and a couple that are still processing. But overall, out of 70 directories, we've got 66 of them that are perfect. Um, that's, a, that's a score that, that matters. We really want to be making sure that that stuff is, is well kept up. Visibility. Is my visibility growing? Right? Do, I, do I have um, additional, you know, overall, is the ranking improving? Am I ranking for more words? That's what visibility is, is to, to see, you know, overall, am I, am I more prominent in the marketplace? And then the other piece that, that is very important, and we'll, we'll see this a little bit later on the reputation tab, um, is how, how are people talking about me on reviews? Um, do, do, I got a lot, do I have a lot of bad things looking in here? Or am I, are people basically saying good things? Excellent, right? Do I hear, do I see good words? Do I see, um, you know, one of, the, one of the things that happened here a while ago, we had a customer uh, who saw the word high pressure sales in here a lot. And that, that certainly helped him to calibrate what he was doing um, in his sales process. So the, these kinds of things, we put them here on the dashboard so that we can really get an idea, and so customers could get an idea of kind of the most important things in the site. Um, the leads tab is more about the specifics of lead flow. So you've got phone calls, right? You've got the individual form submissions. In this case, there's a lot of different forms on this website. Some of them, you know, generate more leads than others. You want to know where the leads are coming from. You want to know which phone calls, which particular um, media are working. So we've got a lot of different phone call uh, elements. And in some cases, you can actually, or in a lot of cases, you can actually listen to those phone calls here and make notes on them. Some people listen to every phone call, right? This is a good place to learn what's going on and what's making people call you and really what are they calling you for? What's What's the, what offer makes more sense or what product are they looking for? Um, and then we track that year over year, month over month, so that people can understand, you know, how is my ROI getting better or, you know, do I have work to do? Um, where's the traffic coming from, right? Organic, is there's organic growing? Am I, am I getting better? Am I, am I reaching more people? Do I see an overall growth or am I relatively flat? And, and where should I be? You know, if it's a site that's been around for a few years, maybe it's supposed to be flat. Um, but if it's brand new and, and on the upswing and we're investing money in it, I'd want to see some growth here. So that, that's one of the ways that we use that kind of stuff. And we like to, to understand where we are in terms of the relative importance to different kinds of traffic. We talked about this earlier with, you know, paid search campaigns where, you know, do Am I investing money in a paid search campaign that's generating enough traffic to matter? Or is it just, you know, not really moving the needle for me? And here's one of the ways that you can find that out. And then, you know, queries and impressions. And it, it, is this growing? Am I, am I seeing more queries over this date range than I was prior, right? Am I seeing more search activity in general? Um, this, there's a lot of, you know, a lot to be gained by looking at these numbers and really drilling down into the individual words and you know where's the click activity coming from and how's the click through rate on some of these words um, and then of course everybody's concerned about average position where where on the search engines do I show up um, visibility is really an overall proxy for how how prominent am I you know, do I see this over time rising? And, and that would mean that more words are ranking higher. So I, you know, I definitely want to see that going up over time. Um, and then I can compare that. If you look over here, I can compare the position on, on a group of keywords to those of my competitors. Um, and in some cases, I can do that on uh, different search engines. I can do it locally as well as nationally. We've got the ability inside SurePulse Now of selecting a particular marketplace within Google instead of just looking at Google total, 
um, which really doesn't tell me much. I want to know where am I on Google in my local market. And then you've got the option to select a bunch of different search engines here and really understand you know, how you're doing everywhere. So th this is a place we spend a lot of time. We think about rankings a lot. We think about volume traffic a lot. Um, and, and we certainly want to want to be thinking local in most cases. Most of our clients are local, so we, we think about this a lot. Uh, social media is obviously important. Uh, it's, it's a place where people uh, interact with these businesses. It becomes the public face of your business. And, and you'd want to be, a, be you know, seeing some impact from what you're doing here. We look at Facebook and, and in this case, Google Plus as well, which will show us the number of followers that happen, um, the interaction that they have with the different uh, things that we post, uh, how many fans might be uh, gained over time, and how many likes and how, how often those come. And it'd be nice to, to be able to look at this and, and see over time that you know the the impact of likes is coincident with the postings that I do, right? And then I'm going to know that people are reading what I'm doing and 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 are liking it. So I we, we pay a lot of attention to this kind of stuff too. Then we talked earlier about reputation. This is the the whole idea of uh, the match between the directories and the website and how all that is performing. How many um, how many reviews I'm getting? In this case, you know, this client's got 37 reviews. They've got a 4.7 out of 5 rating, which is very high. And what are they saying? Right? If I want to look at um, a particular set of reviews, for instance, if I want to look at the the reviews that contain the word window, I can I can filter for that, and I can only look at my window reviews, or I can look at my door reviews, for instance. Um, and look at all of those. So it becomes a flexible tool to try to find out how people think about the different aspects of my business and the different kinds of things that I do um, and really get a feel for uh, how things are, are going. Right? And, then, and then from this we make adjustments. And then it, it, one of the key things that we talked about earlier was about uh, taking action. And and I think this is probably the place right now where we take the most action within SurePulse, and it, it would be the content tab. So we we end up passing content back and forth here between for approval, we send content back out to clients for approval, and then they approve it, or, or in some cases send it back to us and we approve it, and then it goes into a publish status here, and and we're now keeping track of everything that we publish. All the Facebook posts are in here, all of the WordPress blogs are in here, the different dates, and we can go look at these articles and you know they we keep a permanent record of everything. Um, this is this becomes kind of a workflow report that we can then use to understand over time how this is helping to grow the traffic and the social act, social media uh, interactions and and everything else that, that goes on with the website. So this is, this is a really uh, neat place to uh, spend some time. We, we, we focus a lot on it. Um, publishing content is, is one of the biggest things that we do for our clients and, and we manage all of that through here. In addition, clients can do the same thing. So want to publish to the blog? You can just go in here and publish to the blog right from within the, the dashboard. Um, oh, let me get that spinning thing away. If you want to publish to the social media, that's possible as well. So you can publish to Facebook and, and Google Plus from within the dashboard here. Um, in addition to that, we can publish to the directories. So if we want to, if we wanted to post, for instance, um, a, a message, a holiday message, for instance, or some kind of a featured message, we would do that up here, and that would show up across all 70 of those directories. Um, that it, very often that's a seasonal thing. You know, if you want to let people know that you're um, not open on Thanksgiving, for instance, or that can all be done right through here, and it's instantaneous. It rips across all 70 directories all at once. Um, we can also change the data that's in that's in our directories centrally and make that go across all 70 of those directories at once so that 
you've now got the ability to kind of command and control all of that where when it's 70 different accounts that you have to sign into to make a change, it's virtually impossible to manage that by hand. Um, but we've got it all um, right within SurePulse and, and all you got to do is go in here and put in the information, submit, and, and you're good. Um, and all of that is managed by the connection tab, right, so that we, we now can can add the accounts that we need to add. All of these green bars indicate that the connections are made. And then, for instance, if we want to connect up a LinkedIn that's not already there, we simply go in here, put in the password, and it will um, end up back into, um, you know, back into the social connections so that we can then publish to it and we can report on it as well. So that's kind of the overview of, of SurePulse. Um, if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And if anybody would like to see anything, I'd, I'd be happy to show them as well. Great, Bob. We, we do have some questions, so I'm going to jump right into these Q&A questions. And please, everyone in the audience, feel free to send us any other questions that you have. We, we can address them as they come in. Our first question comes from Taylor, and he asks, is there a limit to how many competitors you can compare yourself against at the same time? Uh, I don't think there is. Uh, I've, I've seen as I have clients in here with 15, um, and I, 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 we've never tried to go any higher than that, but I, I don't think there is a limit. Okay, great, yeah. Um, Veronica, her ask is, can you respond to reviews from within SurePulse, or does it send you to a specific review site? We are, There's an upgrade that's in process right now uh, that's probably a week away where you will be able to respond to the reviews right from within SurePulse, correct. Um, it, it'll sign you right in and, and allow you to do that. That's coming. How timely. <laughs> um, George's question is, what social media accounts can you connect within SurePulse? One, one more time, Jen. Uh, what social media accounts can you connect in SharePulse? Uh, well, right now, if you go to the Connections tab, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Foursquare, and WordPress. So that's everything. And we, we there are others that we'd like to have here, uh, but they're not able to take the connection that we need. Like, we'd like to have House in here. Um, House does not have an API that allows us to connect to it. So uh, once they get it, we will put House on this as well. Okay. Uh, I've got a question from Tim. He wants to know what are the top directory listings that he needs to be listed in? The, the most important ones are you know, Google+, um, Yelp, Yahoo, Bing, um, you know, the big the big search engine type ones, and um, the, then b below that there are, there are some data aggregators, you know, the yellow pages, yellowpages.com, uh, localese, um, there's, a, there's a number of those, and then there's kind of the, there's a third tier of, of the, there's a whole list of them. And I'd be happy to get you a list separately. Um, Jen, if you want to take down his name, I'll, I'll come back and, and put a list together for him. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, we actually had an ask if Yelp is included from Andrea. Yeah, Yelp is it, Yelp is not included in the way that you that that it's automatic, but Yelp is something that we that we like to make sure that people deal with. Yes, you have to have a separate account. And that's included in the directory listings, right? It is. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's, in, in Yelp, you're able to update your entire Yelp listing for your business and then post offers. Is, is that uh, correct? I don't believe it's in it's postable like that. No, I, it, oh. it shows up in the it shows up in the reviews, but I don't believe you can post to it the way you're talking about. It. No. Okay. Well. All right. So on to our next question. Uh, Jane wants to know if you can post video content through SurePulse. You can post it into a blog, yes. Um, you, you use the uh, embed code and you put it right into the blog and it will, it will post video content that way, yes. 
All right, very helpful. Um, Randy is asked, in your opinion, how advantageous is it to include a form on my website? Uh, critical. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a website without a form. <laughs> um, everybody, you know, that's what they want to do. They want to either call you or or do something electronically that tells you what they need. So we we would not build a site without a form. Uh, we put forms above the fold and and prominent on every website that we build, and um, that's it's critical, very important. Uh, we had a question come in from Mitchell. He'd like to know if you're going to be going over pricing. Um, if you could touch on that. Yeah, I don't believe I will, but I think Shashi can do that. Can you do right, that, Shashi? Absolutely. Yeah, grab Shashi. All right, thanks, boss. Uh, we have a very special offer now, which is 149 a month, and we just opened it up to this group for uh, a 30-day free trial. And uh, if people have want to have multiple accounts, uh, we have a customized pricing structure for them. So to answer the question, the introductory price is 149 for one URL uh, that people are able to manage the um, the large number of uh, features that this tool has. Anything to add, Bob? Um, no, I, I, I mean, I can just tell you that, that I live in here. I mean, this is this tool to me is is the only way to do this. So I I would recommend it to anybody. I think it's very important that you look at the whole thing all at once, and this is a very good way to do it. There was a we did a competitive analysis, and uh, the the cost if you bought individually all these tools was uh, Jen was it almost like a thousand dollars or. Uh, I think it was about 600. 600 it, was, it, it was close. Yeah. So instead of buying different tools for your business, you have one tool that does everything all in one place. Yeah, it's a huge cost savings, especially on an annual basis. We're actually um, making it pretty easy for anybody who's attending today to try out SharePulse for free. So if you have your phone out, you can send a text message to 44222 with the code SPWebinar1, and we'll be typing that into the chat and show you that on the screen so that you have the ability to type that in. But I just wanted to bring that up now for anybody who's interested in trying out SurePulse. And you can also just let us know in the chat that you're interested or send us an email at info at surefiresocial.com. All right, so I believe we have one last question. No, I was wrong. <laughs> We've covered them all. We have no last well, question. No last <laughs> questions. Amazing. So we're, we are going to be having another webinar this month. It's a great month. Um, it's going to be on planning for 2017. During the webinar, we're going to help you examine your business fitness, and we'll do a live business fitness test. So you can look at 10 different areas of your web presence and your business and see what's going well, what's not, and it'll help you plan for next year. It's a really great test and Mark has been using it across the country to help businesses improve all of their business activities across the board. So that's September 22nd, it's at 4 p.m. and we'll also share the link with you in the chat so that you can register for that. And feel free to let us know. Um, I wanted to thank both Sashi and Bob for the excellent presentation today. Really enjoyed the live tour of SurePulse. And I wanted to lastly thank everyone who came out and attended this afternoon and made it so interesting for all of us behind the scenes. We, we loved all of your questions. We loved hearing that you like Cinnabons too. We completely agree. Um, and we, we hope to see you on future webinars. If we didn't get to one of your questions today, you can just send us an email. Again, that's just info at surefiresocial.com. Send us an email, and we'll make sure that we address your question. Thank you so much for coming out today, everybody.